fair warning, while my cat does her business, uh, you have already seen a bunch of these books, but I haven't officially hauled them, and I want to officially haul them because it's like I keep filming about them, and <laughs> I'm like, oh, you haven't hauled that book. So, some of these you've seen, some of these you haven't. I realize that I am a ridiculous human being that um, should probably stop. Let me count how many we have. 31 books! 31 books! I mean, I do read 20 books per month, so I'm gonna stick to that. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So, this haul has been a long time in the making. I didn't buy these books in one month. I actually bought these books in two months. I don't know if you noticed that last month I didn't make a haul and this is kind of like last month plus the month before yeah it's it's been a while it's been a while coming and uh yeah i'm just i'm gonna start off the top i have over here gabriel garcia marquez el coronel no tiene quien le fia. i always say marquez it's actually marquez but it, you know gabriel garcia marquez el coronel el coronel no tiene quien le escriba this is gabriel garcia marquez the colonel nobody no one writes the colonel this is one of my favorite hispanic classics or um, latin american classics and i haven't read it in a really long time and i really wanted to own it and read it and put it up on my shelf and now i finally can do that because it's not sitting over there at my uh tbr because this is a ready read book i've already read it you've seen this book already but let's give it its moment in the limelight it's dead astronauts by jeff vandermeer this was a cover by this is basically a prequel to born which we all know is my favorite book of the year thus far also by the way sorry if you can hear my my dishwasher uh i have to do dishes so i decided to film this while that's going but anyway um if i don't tell you what these books are about it's because there's 31 of them okay and also because i don't know what most of them are about all right up next, Infinite Sun by Adam Silvera. If you saw my top seven on Sunday, which I filmed right before this video, I will link it up here. You know that this is about two brothers, um, an ancient power and like the power struggle and who's gonna keep the power and stuff like that. So, uh, really excited. Latinx author writing science fiction. I'm here for it. Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. This is about the apocalypse and 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 creatures that you can't see or you kill yourself and it's been featured already on my channel so you know that I have it I have officially hauled it it's going in my shelves it's going down here because it's going in my favorite books of all time shelf so all right this one you haven't seen at all and that is Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick my um I believe <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even say anything in the back because Marcus Sedgwick writes in such a strange fashion. Okay, so this is the story of like a place called Middle... I, I keep saying Middlewood? Midwinter Blood where people meet, fall in love throughout time and uh, Marcus Sedgwick is one of my favorite writers. I love how like a miracle his writing is. Like it just makes you feel like you're in a dream. So yeah, I read uh, The Mustards We Deserve by him. It nearly made it to my top 10 books of the year. And I wanted to buy the, another one by him. And I love that his books are really short because I love short books and I cannot lie. All right, up next we have a Shirley Jackson book called Hangs a Man. Now this reminds me a lot of Bunny. And I don't remember the author, but basically this is dark academia, but the main character is a female and she basically doesn't doesn't feel like she fits in into this university she's at and she kind of gets lost within herself and I am really really excited to read this I love and I love and hate Shirley Jackson's writing because it makes me like feel stupid so um, we'll see how this goes. I don't know where I'm gonna read this. I want to buddy th read this with Aurora from uh, Dark Academia Cafe, but we'll see when she has time because she is a busy busy lady and well this book I love this cover also. It's I love these Penguin modern classics Penguin modern classics. I love these photography covers. So yeah 
we got that. Then we have a book that I found the biggest deal on. I paid three euros for Wondersmith, the Colligan, the Colligan, <laughs> the Colling of Morgan Crow. This is the sequel to Nevermore, and I really enjoyed Nevermore. Is right here. And I saw the sequel was for three euros, so I got it, and now I can read it. <laughs> There's not much to say, except this is a book about a little girl who has an, a, a great power, and it's a typical story of good versus evil, and it's very whimsical. It's also kind of, oh, how do you call that? Steampunk, there we go. It's kind of steampunky, which I love. And if fucking somebody compares this to Harry Potter one more time, I'm gonna chuck this book at their faces. Next. Again, a book you saw, if you saw my Seven and Sunday, I have Daphne du Maurier's Jamaica Inn. I actually have no idea what this book is about, except that it's probably a mystery that will have a kind of weird ending because Daphne du Maurier. So I'm really excited about that. And now I have hauled it. It has been hauled. I can put it in its rightful spot. Another book you have seen <laughs> already. So basically, you've seen all of these books. No, but the ones on top you have definitely seen. So this is The Changeling by Victor Lavelle. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I read it like four, three, three or four years ago, and it always stayed with me. I have a video where this book is featured that is called Haunting Books That Stay With You. I'll link it up in the cards if it's already up. I don't know when things are going up. So yeah, this book is amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. And the cover, mm, oh, chef's kiss. Okay, now I have a book that I'm supposed to have the prequel of, but Book Depository fucking sucks and hasn't sent it to me. So I have here Akata Warrior by Nnedi Okorafor, but I also have Akata Witch. I bought it, but it's taking Book Depository forever to get it to me, and I'm kind of pissed off at it, but you know, we're gonna move on. Um, this is about a young albino, I believe, uh, Nigerian girl that discovers that she has magical powers. And I believe this is kind of middle grade-ish, and you guys know I love middle grade, and I usually love Nettie Okra Force writing, at least I have in most instances except one, so I'm very, very excited to read this. And the prequel of it, or like, you know, the like the, the original book that I don't have because Book Depository sucks. All right, another book you have seen, Fresh Water. Okay, I'm not gonna say her name because I looked it up and I tried last time, but I don't know where my phone is, so I don't wanna butcher her name, but I have Fresh Water, but oh, I just feel bad not saying ak Akwaki, Akwaki, I think that's how you say it, Emezi, okay? Uh, this book is about a woman who basically, her parents pray her into existence and then she grows up and heads to college in America, a traumatic event crystallizes the selves into something more powerful. So basically she's like kind of, I, I think this is the kind of like she jumps from body to body and stuff like that and I don't know, this just sounds incredible and when I when I read the synopsis, like I when I saw the cover of this book, it had like just a uh, phrases from the book and I was like, yeah girl, I want to read that and I'm really, really excited to get to this one. Okay, middle game, Shauna Maguire. I don't know if you have seen a thing that I have about siblings, sibling rivalries, becoming gods and god-like creatures and yeah, this book has everything I want and I have two other books that sound similar to this one so I imagine that I'm going to enjoy all three of them. A lot of people didn't like this one, but a lot of people who like the same things I like did enjoy it, so I'm not that worried. All right, now we're gonna get into a little segment. Let me, let me, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have over here, the daughters of Nir, Nri, I'm gonna say Ri. Again, this is like this and Adam Silvera's book where we have twin sisters who are basically goddesses and they're separated at birth and the earth is kind of at a breaking point and some people want them to get together to I guess bring forth back mother earth and magic into the world and some people want to keep them separated so that the world so that they can keep the power in the world I cannot wait to read this again I featured this in books I want to read in the second half of the year so 
there you go okay god i'm already tired you guys let me put all of these together then i have a box set but um i hate keeping books in box sets because they're so annoying to get out and i have the fifth season the fifth yeah the fifth season box set by nk jemison i know this is a dystopian world where every so like every five seasons uh the world gets destroyed and there's a mother that is searching for her son but the fifth season is coming and i i can't wait to get to this like trilogy i'm so excited and it was cheaper to buy the trilogy than to buy one of the books i don't know how that happened but that's why i have the trilogy now okay this is gonna start to fall all right let's see what else we have here oh we have through the woods this is a stories by emily carroll i think i already did haul this or i said i was gonna read it i don't know but if i haven't hauled it i think i have <laughs> but anyway it's a graphic novel it's a spooky graphic novel now this book you saw if you saw my most beautiful covers book and that is the city in the middle of the night by charlie jane anders i recently just got this it's my first sprayed edge book which i'm kind of in love and now i want to spray edge all of my books but i don't want to destroy them so yeah uh this is a basically a world where half the world is always in night and the other one is always in day one is always freezing one is always hot so basically somebody gets i guess thrown out of one of the cities and has to make friends with people from the other city and yeah it's a, it sounds like an interesting sci-fi i didn't know it was such a chunky one but i don't really care because it sounds really good and i love this edition of it Woo, girl, i'm tired you know what let's get let's get through this because mk demison right now is like <laughs> she's like like the owner of my life, which I don't mind. I have here, How Long Till Black Future Month by M.K. Devinson. Uh, this is basically a bunch of short stories, I believe. Yes? Yes. It's a bunch of short stories, science fiction, Afrofuturism, I believe. And I'm really excited for this. And props to Lena from Advanced Lena because she was like, girl, this is 4 dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> on on uh, Amazon so we both got it and I can't look at that cover I can't wait I can't wait to read these books and also by N.K. Jemison I got the city we became um this is the story about New York City which I have been to many times and I'm really excited to get to it except that I heard what it was kind of about and now I'm not sure I'm so excited about it but I'm gonna read it and form my own opinion. I'm gonna start putting the books down here or they're gonna fall. Next up, I have Wastelands, Stories of the Apocalypse, featuring Octavia E. But Butler and a bunch of white men. <laughs> Basically, I actually bought this for Octavia E. Butler's short story and I think that it's really incredible that her name is the first name mentioned and then a bunch of white men that I don't like that much, but yeah, I really like short story collections. You guys know that for me to get to sci-fi, short story collections are like one of the best ways to do it. And this book sounds like a good time for not when it's hot outside. Along the same lines, I got So Long Been Dreaming, a uh, post-colonial science fiction and fantasy which was edited by Nalo Hopkinson, which is another great, great black American writer. I believe he's American. Um, but yeah, these are again short stories and I like that this also has a uh, Native American, it also has um, Aboriginal people writing and you know, sci-fi isn't only for white men or any, you know, it's, it's, it's universal and that's one of the things that I really like about sci-fi and I'm actually buying Latinx Rising because I need more Latinx people writing sci-fi. You, do you have any idea how hard it was to find the vanished birds which I talked about in another video but geez. All right sticking to my vein of I like sci-fi I bought The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ancrum. Um, this came highly recommended by Books and Lala 
and uh, I really want to read it. It sounds like a lot of fun, but it also does sound like more of a wintry read. Now that I'm seeing, I could read this really fast because there, like, there's barely any words per, per page. Uh, also, it has this amazing, like, sprayed edge. I love it. I'm really excited about this. It apparently it's a sapphic romance and it's soft sci-fi. Like, it's not really on the hard edge of sci-fi. So, yeah. Alright, then I bought, this is a total impulse buy, like, okay, most of this was impulse buy, but I had no idea, this book was not even on my radar, and I love finding books about, like that, that are not on my radar. This is called Numenon, and it's by Marina J. Loster, Lost, Lost, Losterter, Losterter, Lost, I can't say that word. But anyway, this is basically, an astrophysicist is studying the sky. <laughs> you know as astrophysicists do and they find that a star is blinking rather weirdly and it seems to be sending a message so they send people out there to study it and just saying that out loud makes me want to read this book so much it will take centuries it, they say it will take centuries centuries to get to the star to preserve their talents the convoy is populated by clones of its original crew born and reborn in a sealed society with a single purpose every individual and every generation must come to terms with inheritance that go far beyond dna I, i'm already in love with this book and i don't i don't even like <laughs> okay what do we have okay all right so now uh i also bought horror store by Grady Hendrix. Now, do you guys remember old booktube days when this was like all the rage? And I've always wanted to read this book and I said, you know what, baby? You already spent all your money on books. Might as well treat yourself. So I did. I bought Horror Store. It's about a Ikea. It's about Ikea, okay? And Ikea is haunted. And they, <laughs> they have a girl in there that has to stay because things are going weird and she just has to investigate and it sounds like just like a fun Halloween read this is definitely not a read that I'm keeping for right now this is more Halloween-ish oh I'm not done yet uh, I bought a bunch of books that I've already read but I didn't own because if you saw that tag I did where I talk about books I rarely talk about most of the time it's because I don't own them so if they're cheap I'm gonna start buying them I bought The Dark Beneath the Eyes by Amelinda Berbe. This is an amazing sapphic romance. Um, it's a horror book. It talks about possession, so if you're not comfortable with that, be careful. But this is a non-tragic sapphic romance, and it's a really cool book. And I think it was written really in interestingly, and I really want to have it for whatever. Somebody's like, please give me a non-tragic sapphic romance. And soft, soft sapphic romance it's really cute i think this is actually much better than um red white and royal blue like that's how much i love these characters so there you go then i bought the emerald atlas the book of beginnings by john stevens i remember this was one of my favorite middle grade books i had the hardcover it was beautiful and then venezuela uh, uh like basically told me to get the fuck out so i did and uh now i don't have it but now i have it and I don't like the cover that much, but it's a cute book, and it was four euros, so, yeah. We're almost done. We're to the final four. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so next. I bought it. I bought The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I really wanted this in paperback. I only buy paperbacks unless it's, like, something really strange where I buy the hardcover. Um, I love this book. This is in my top five that I've read this year and it was the first book that I read this year and I didn't own it. So now I do and I'm very happy about it. And then, okay guys, I left these for the <laughs> This is so stupid. I have a friend in England and I couldn't find these books in this edition for the life of me. I already own this book, but I don't, these, these books, and I already, I already own this series, but I found this edition to be the most beautiful edition of this series, and I really wanted it. So I bought them through Amazon in the UK, sent them to his house, and then he sent them to me, and I paid for the shipping, which by the way was actually, overall, I saved about half 
of what I like what I would have spent if I bought them off of book depository but anyway I bought <laughs> VC Andrews flowers in the attic uh, the first three books which is the original trilogy so we have flowers in the attic and I love this cover look at the colors of that I don't think that's picking up but it's got like subtle purples and blues and it's got the house and it's like the back is beautiful the spine it's not gonna focus that's fine that's fine all right look at that look at that spine so this is flowers in the attic then we've got petals on the wind I, it really hurts me to say petals on the wind instead of petals in the wind, but whatever. Um, here's the front, the house on fire, and then the back. And then <laughs> this stack of books is going to fall. Don't fall, don't fall. And then the final one is If There Be Thorns, which we've got the diary and the thorns and again. And they look beautiful in my bookcase. Let me show you one more time. Hang on, hang on. Look at that. Don't they look great? It all matches up. They look beautiful. And they're much better than the editions that I already have. So I'm going to keep both because this doesn't have the full series. It just has the first three. I might eventually sell those, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm tired. That was a lot of books to haul but yeah um this is not normal like please please don't think that to have a booktube channel you have to do something this absolutely magnificently ridiculous as i have done it's really unnecessary uh i first of all i wanted to diversify my reading i don't know if you noticed that there were a lot of more there was a lot more color in my uh, reading and also I just kind of went a little bit out of control there we go that's the reality so please don't think that this is normal but ah, I'm so so glad that I got through this you have no idea how much I've been dreading doing this and now that I've done it it's done I am starting a project which I will talk to you about in another video where I basically want to get my t my physical TBR down to zero and then I want to get my t Kindle TBR down to zero and then my ass can start buying more books because this is absolutely and positively ridiculous. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this crazy ass haul. Um, I keep saying I'm not going to keep hauling books like this but you know what? I don't know. The reality is I don't know. But for now, yeah, I have a lot of books to read. So I should probably get to reading them instead of buying new books. Oh, I don't do this with clothes. Remember how I said like I'm a minimal minimalist when it comes to clothes? What happened? I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those of you that are new. Thank you for coming back to those of you that are subscribed. Uh, leave me a link down below of what which of these books you're most excited uh, 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 you're most excited for me to read and I don't know we might see if I read your chosen book but for now I have nothing left to do but to bid you adieu and I will see you in another galaxy far far away where I'm clearly a rich woman because I don't buy th these many books <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye I'm gonna hate editing this so much.